When dealing with lists of data, the number of results can get so big that it needs to be listed on several pages. Here we'll explain how to simulate this kind of behavior using the components index and summary, combined with pagination action. Here we'll make use of the Data Master products created in previous tutorials. Please note that by default, the Data Master tab is hidden. To display it in the interface, click on the Data Master option in the menu View. First, we have to prepare the data grid to be able to use the pagination function. Create a new data grid and select the Data Master Products to point at the data that will be used. Select the Product Data Grid and in the Property panel, specify how many rows you want to feature on one page. Here, we'll put three. Drag the Index component to the canvas and link it to the grid using the Data Grid property. The index will automatically show you the number of pages listed according to the number of rows chosen. This index is dynamic and it will change during simulation if the user makes a search. Summaries show us the number of results available in all the listed pages and which values are being showed right now. Configure it like the index as the text is also dynamic. Finally, you can simulate next or previous first and last page action, as the steps to follow are the same for all of them. Let's see how to simulate the next action. Drag four buttons and label them Next, Previous, First, and Last. Select the first one and click on the Event tab. Choose the Pagination action and click Next Page. The Editor of Expression will open. Drag the list to the first square and click OK. Click OK again, and now you can simulate your prototype. Check how the values of the list are changing when you click on Next. You can do the same for the rest of the actions.